now I want to clean up some of this or change this around a little bit. I don't like having this stuff here. I want to move it. So what I'm going to do is uh, instead of all that, right here I'm going to call a method called uh, my string from CLS ID. Okay. And then, of course, I'm going to put uh, the uh, our GUID right there. And of course, this method is not defined, so I need to define it. And I'm going to have it return a W string from CLS ID, and it's going to take an IID. An IID is a GUID; they're all the same. Um, and it's just going to have this stuff here, except, of course, we're going to change that to IID. And then we're going to return W string. There we go. So we can get rid of this. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is, you know what, I'm going to do this here. We're going to put some documentation. So here what we did was we created the GUID key. And then the uh, next thing we're going to do is reg create key x returns a value that we should check. So that value will be a long, we'll just call it result. And then we'll say if result does not equal error success, um, then we're going to just return E unexpected. So error success, um, just ignore the error part. Error success is a macro for zero, which is a uh, a successful return value or a return value that indicates success. So if the result is that the uh, method here was not successful, then return this error code. <clears throat> okay, good. So if we look at the registry and we look at a different key, um, we know that uh, you know we're not done creating entries yet. We have to create an improc th server32 key and then create these two values within it. All right, so next step, create improc server32 key. Okay, so we're just going to start with this method reg create key x. And here Remember, we want to create this improc server32 key, um, I guess, as a subkey of the GUID we created. And the path to this key right here was um, returned to this variable here. So instead of uh, putting h key local machine or root key in the first argument, we can just put h key. And here, for the subkey, we can just put a literal um, in proc server 32, zero, no, reg, option, non-volatile, key, right, no, h key, lp, disk. Very good. And then, of course, we got to check the result. Or we should check the result. All right, great. Now we're going to create those two values. So we're going to start with uh, the default value. We're, we don't have to actually create it, we just have to set it. Set default value. Okay, so we're going to use the, the following method, reg set value ex, and let's see what it takes. H key, so 
again we're not going to use one of those predefined root key things we're just going to use h key um, next value name what is this for oh right so here we're going to put null and null refers to the default value uh, reserve zero dw type reg sz right yes so the default value is going to be the path name of our uh, DL dll and since we're going to write an absolute path um, we're just going to use reg sc but if you want to use a path that has uh, you know this kind of notation winder or something like that then you would uh, put reg expanded sc but i'm not going to do that okay so these next two arguments are uh, basically the data that you want to put in the value so this first one is going to be the path of our DLL and then the next argument is going to be the the size of the path in bytes so how do we uh, get the path of the DLL how am I going to do this I'm going to create a W string it's going to be a string Let's call it LP DLL path, okay? And I'm gonna have it equal um, the result of a method called my get module file name. There we go. So we are going to create another custom method up here. Uh, so return an std w string my get module file name and it's going to be a method based on the get module file name method and this method come on oh it was name should be capitalized so this method here is uh, based on three arguments first argument is uh, an h module which is the same thing as an h instance and this uh, we can grab this from up here so when our dll is called um, i guess the operating system or the shell explorer passes in this um, oh oops ahead of myself there so it passes in this and uh, what we want to do with that is store it. So we will store it in a global variable, h instance right there. And then here we're going to do gh instance uh, equals h instance dll. All right, and that's what we're going to dump into the first argument here so g h instance so here we're going to put a, a string to um, receive the value of the path name and we're going to prepare one here um, there we go good I'll just dump that here and the third argument is the size of the string. So we made the size max path, so we're gonna just put max path there. And uh, path is 260. Okay, good, that was simple. Now we just have to return a W string of the result. W string, um, there we go. And so now, gotta change how that's spelled okay so now we have uh, our path in w string form and this argument here it uh, takes a pointer to a byte okay so we're gonna cast it as such uh, and we're gonna put LP what was it called DLL path DLL path here we go and now for the length of this, I'm gonna make uh, a different method. 
my size in bytes of LP DLL path. Okie dokie. So, STV, and it's going to return um, a D word. Uh, my size in bytes, and it's going to take in an STDW string. And we'll just call it target. Okay, so how is this going to work? Well, we'll just, just start by making a, a uh, D word, and it's going to equal an expression. Uh, since we're passing in a D string, we can use the dot size method. And what this does it is it returns the size of the string in the number of letters or characters in it. Um, but this is not the size in bytes. Okay, we need to add one character for the terminating null. And um, again, since we're dealing with wide characters, uh, that means that each character is stored as two bytes. So we have to multiply this by two. And then we put the parentheses around this to make sure we get our order of operations right. And we just return the result. There we go. <clears throat> I just didn't want to have this whole expression in there. Well, let's put Good, and then of course we have to check the result. And let me just copy that. Okay, we have one more value to or one more value to set, create, and set uh, threading model. Here, create threading model value and set to apartment. All right. Uh, we're going to use reg set value x again and h key we're still going to use that and here we're going to put a literal for threading model and then uh, zero also a reg sc and um, again we're going to create another w string and we're just going to call it a apartment uh, whoa, what happened there? That's needs a capital there. Oh. All right. Uh, that's okay. Good. And then now here I can put remember to cast as the pointer to a byte. And a apartment. Uh, I could put a, another string literal here, but um, I want to use the my size and bytes method to get the size. So there we go. That's why I turned it into a W string. But of course, you're welcome to find your own solution. And as always, check the result. Okay, so by this point, we are done uh, creating all the keys and values in in this area of the registry. So what Microsoft wants us to do at this point is to close uh, the H key that we've been, you know, working with. Uh, we don't need it anymore. Lastly, what Microsoft also wants us to do is to uh, alert the operating system that we've made a change to the registry. So we just do that using this uh, method. There we go. And then, of course, lastly, we return OK. All right, so our job now is to build and then run it to see if it works. So build succeeded, 
and uh, let's have a look at the registry so here's our GUID key that we set and remember what we want to see we want to see a new sub key and then two values uh, within that sub key after we run reg server 32 once again can't wait to see what mistakes I've made ready set go Oh, forgot to get rid of that, but it looks like it succeeded. So let's have a look here to see if it actually uh, worked. Okay, so we see that a triangle appeared here, and that's a good sign. And uh, if we look inside, we see the improc server 32 key was created, and also the appropriate values. All right, congratulations, guys.